cases. I knew you'd be excited. Let's get started. This screencast is to introduce you to the concepts and there will be following screencasts on each of the individual cases to give you the details. Firstly, what's important for mastering cases? Two main things. First, you need to understand and have a handle on the concept of genders. And secondly, you need to understand how the parts of a sentence work. So let's have a look at those. Firstly, every noun in German, as you know, has a gender. It's either masculine, feminine or neuter. And you'll note I've started using the colour coding here. When I'm talking about genders, I'll always use these to indicate them to help you along. So what does this mean? It means that there are different ways of saying words like the, are, my, your, her, his, and so on. So the basic ones look like this, and you'll recognize these hopefully. So the ways of saying the, der, die, and das, and the plural die, a, ein, einer, ein, and so on. Under that, you can see my and your. These are what we call possessives or possessive adjectives, and these all follow the same pattern as ein, okay, when it comes to genders and cases. All right, so there they are listed for you. Mein, dein, sein, ihr, and so on. And the brackets indicating the different um, endings for plural and also for feminine. And there's your meanings. So it's worth getting those into your head as well. The other part, as I mentioned at the start, is uh, recognising the parts of the sentence and how they line up with the cases. Let's have a look at this sentence. Mein Bruder gibt dem Lehrer das Buch meiner Schwester. What does it mean? My brother gives the teacher the book of my sister, or we more likely say my sister's book. Let's break it up. First of all, let's learn to recognise where the verb in the sentence is. What's the action in this sentence? And of course, it's gibt, gives. And it's the verb in the sentence. And all the, all the roles in the sentence revolve around this. So first thing, let's find the subject in the sentence. Who or what is doing the giving, the action of this verb? And of course, it is mein Bruder. So mein Bruder is the subject in the sentence. And in German, this is equal to the nominative case. Nothing more complex than that. Next step, who or what is receiving the action of the verb? So what is being given? In this case, das Buch, the book. This is equal in German to the direct object and is labelled as the accusative case. Now the other part of it, it is das Buch meiner Schwester, the book of my sister, literally. And the meiner Schwester part of it denotes the possession. And this is a separate case in German, and it's known as the genitive case. And it can usually be translated as of the or of my, as in this case. Okay, so we've got the verb, to give. My brother's doing the giving, so the subject. He's giving the book of my sister, my sister's book. And who's he giving it to? He's giving it to the teacher. When you can translate it as to the, or to my, or to a, this is the indirect object. And in German, that's the dative case. And that's really all there is to it. They're just labels. So don't be overwhelmed by it. And stay tuned for the next screencast to explain the details. Bye for now.